gamers, what's up? Today we're going over the Pride Win tier list. It hasn't been updated yet, which is very cringe, but I feel like now is better than ever to go over the Pride Win tier list, where I think it's at now, what adjustments they can make on this tier list to actually make it better or improve this tier list. So we're gonna go through, look at all their tiers here today, and think what is going to be on the next tier list. And on top of that, we'll be putting the new characters coming to the game on the tier list as well, that being Sparkle, Acheron, and also Adventuring and Gallagher as well. I'll be making a little tier for them where I think they might go as we go through each section of uh, Damage Dealer, Specialist, Amplifier, and Sustain. So uh, we're not doing Pure Fiction today because that shit is piss easy, but if you guys want to see a Pure Fiction tier list, then make sure you leave a like on this video and comment down below. Let's go ahead and hop into this stinky little tier list now, though. So let's start on the Sustain characters first, guys. On the Sustain, we have Miss Fishuan at uh, S+. Plus. And how I assume they're doing this here is having one character on the S+, plus here. Now, like I said, we're not talking about Pure Fiction tier list, but on Pure Fiction, there's multiple S+, plus characters. So I feel like they should, you know, do the same for both of the tier lists, have one S+, plus and the rest S. Because generally, I don't like having S+, plus on my tier list, because it's stinky and cringe. Why do we need S+, plus? It doesn't make any sense to me. But I think having one character that stands above the rest is a pretty good idea to have. And I think that's what they're doing here. So, uh, Fushuan being an S+, plus tier. Yeah, I can agree with that. I think Hua, Hua is better than Fushuan is. Overall speaking, in terms of a character, I think Fushuan is just more usable as a character, though. She's more of a brain-dead character, and with how a lot of players are in Honkai Star Rail, I think that's what you need is a brain-dead character. Uh, overall, I do think Kwahua is a better character. I think Kwahua probably deserves to be up here more than Fushuan does. But yeah, uh, I think Kwahua is probably the best uh, sustained character in the game. Fight me in the comment section if you don't agree with that. Yeah, El Ocha, guys. Honestly, I feel like Locha fell off, bro. I think I think he does deserve to be up here in S tier, though. I think him and Fushuan are very similar in terms of what they can do. I think he provides more sustainability than Fushuan does. Uh, but Fushuan does provide extra crew rate for the team. I mean, yeah, I think Kuala is better overall, but I think that's fine, right? Now, hopping into the A tier here. Oh, we have Lynx in the A tier. Look at that. Very Pog champ. I do think Lynx is probably the best four-star healer in the game, and I do think she's better than Bailu. 100%. I don't like Bailu. Uh, maybe it's just a bias towards little girl care. Well, she's a little girl too, so that wouldn't make much sense if I said Bailu is like that. But anyways... Bailu looks like a toddler. This is going on a tangent. I don't want to go down anymore, guys. Lynx is better, okay? I agree with Lynx being on the A tier. Let's continue with our tier list now. B tier, Gigaport and Lynx. I don't think... You know what? I'm going to say it, guys. Y'all y'all, y'all did my boy Japard dirty, okay? Japard carried me through this recent MOC, and I get, I get, I get it, right? Oh, Japard's not good because he can't affect res, but wait till you face that monkey boss, okay, guys? And for that reason, I would be moving Japard up to the A tier. Jeppy stonk goes up. Jeppy stonks are up this memory of chaos, okay? He can deflect the monkey sodas when he's throwing them at you and deflects them. He reflects all the damage. Now, let's move on to the C tier. March 7th and Natasha. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think they're bad by any means. Honestly, in Honkai Star Wars, no characters are, like, bad. I, I wouldn't say they're bad anyways. Uh, but yeah, I think in terms of, like, where they're at and compared to the other ones, they're definitely down here. Now, we have heard tales. I have heard tales of March 7th being on a perma-freeze team. Now... If that were viable, for sure, like, I don't know, I haven't tested it, mine's in the dumps, mine's like level 70, bro, I don't know, but, uh, I think March 7th could potentially move up, I think March 7th is a little bit better than Natasha, IMO. Alright guys, so here's just a quick overview of my agreements and disagreements with this, uh, sustain category they have here. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop into the next tier now, which is the Amplifier tier. Now, with Amplifiers, Ruanay at S plus tier, yeah, I think that Ruanay is the best sustain, I mean, best Amplifier in the game, 100% hands down. I know some people in the chat will disagree, aka Cops or aka uh, Rasta will disagree with this. I don't like Branya. I'm gonna say it. I'm a Branya hater. I think she's the clunkiest character alive. I don't like Branya. I think she's trash. I think she's stinky, and I don't like her. But I still think she's S tier, so I agree with her being an S tier, but not on the same level as Ruan May. I don't agree with Silver Wolf being an S tier. Absolutely the fuck not. Uh, send her ass to the Shadow Realm. Send her ass down to like B tier or something, man. I don't know. I. Why is she here? Cringe? I don't know, man. Taylor at E6, because they're grading it off the E6 here, should be above Silver Wolf, in my opinion. There is no way that easier Silver Wolf is this high. Move Silver Wolf down in the back. Ain't no way. Get down there. I think Taylor should be up in the S tier. I do not think she, Silver Wolf, should be up here. Uh, Silver Wolf should probably be down here in the A or probably B tier. Uh, she's probably A tier, let's be honest, guys. Uh, and now, moving on to the A tier. I don't have Hanya, so I can't give you guys a concrete of how good Hanya is. Chat, have you guys used Hanya? How good is Hanya? Do you guys, chat, do you guys think that Hanya should be in the A tier? Okay, guys, they're saying, chat's saying Hanya's fine in A tier, so we're going to keep her in A tier. 
Uh, I think I can agree with you calling being in the B tier. I think she's really clunky to use even when you have her E6. She's still pretty clunky to use. Uh, and yeah, I just find myself picking other options other, over Yukong most of the time. Same thing can be said for Asta too. I can find myself picking characters over Asta almost 90% of the time, mainly because I have Ru on May, right? And I just use Ru on May over Asta. Anyways. All right, guys. So yeah, like I said before, yeah, Payla to the S tier. I think Silver Wolf down to the A tier. I think just Payla is a superior unit right now. Maybe for early game, Silver was better. I think overall, though, Payla is a better in slot character. Uh, like I said, I don't like Branya. Fuck Branya. She's in the F tier for me. Now, Sparkle. Uh, what I have to say about Sparkle. I'm just going to... This is not her position, by the way. Sparkle. What do I think about Sparkle, right? Now, do I think Sparkle is going to be better than Branya? I think she'll be better than Branya. Do I think she is going to work well in every team. I don't think she's going to work as efficiently in every team because I think you'll run into some speed issues, especially with like Zila. I think I'll see a lot of people like talking about running Zila with Sparkle, but I think there is going to be a timing issue with it or like a speed tuning issue because Zila increases her speed every turn and 50% advanced forward action. I don't know how that's going to work. So this is completely feels crafting on this. I don't know how it's going to work with her realistically i don't i think what's gonna end up happening is your zeal is gonna get too fast and end up being way faster than your sparkle meaning she goes right before your sparkle goes when you advance forward zeal's actions then it doesn't really do anything or the alternative of that is that she'll basically be right behind her the whole time and the action or the i guess action value will be around the same i don't know I don't know how Zila's gonna be with her i do think she'd be better than Branya though so for that reason i'll be putting her in the s tier Fuck you, Branya. Oh, wait, guys, I forgot to do Adventurine. Guys, I am so sorry. We forgot to do Adventurine and Gallagher because they were obviously both in the same boat as before. So, Adventurine, I think Adventurine is going to be S tier. Gallagher, I think Gallagher is probably going to be A tier. I think he'll probably be on the same level as Lynx. Uh, we obviously don't know what he does. Just for my feels crafting on this, I think he'll probably be an A tier. I think he'll probably be right here. And I think Adventurine will probably be here as well. Uh, in, in the S tier. I don't think he's power creeping Quahua or even Pushuan for that matter. Let's continue on to the next section of the tier list here, which is the specialist tier list. Okay, now hopping in here. Uh, Kafka being an S plus tier, I agree with that. I think she works really well with Black Swan. I think she's a great dot carry. She's the foundation for a dot team. Without Kafka, dot team would not be as good. Uh, I think we can say that pretty easily right now, right? And for all the people back in my Black Swan video saying, oh, you cannot power creep Black Swan. No, you cannot power creep Kafka, right? <laughs> it's, it's a lot harder to power creep Kafka than it is to power creep Black Swan. You just give someone some more damage, you power creep Black Swan, essentially. If you add another reprocking dot unit to the game, you just run both of them on the same team together, her and Kafka, and you just replace Black Swan. That's how I see it anyways. So yeah, I see Kafka being S tier. She's the foundation. Without Kafka, she wouldn't be here. Uh, and I still think if we were to take the synergistic out of the equation here, because as you can see, the little symbol here says they're synergist. They play together really well. Uh, I th still think that Kafka would be above Black Swan, even if they weren't playing together on the same team. So yeah, for that reason, I do agree with this right here. Topaz being up here. I completely agree with Topaz being up here. Genuinely, genuinely, guys, I think E6 Sampo is probably S tier. Especially paired with Black Swan because they have the synergist symbol here. I think Black Swan and Mr. Koski Sampo play really, really well with each other. So I think, honestly, he'd probably be up here in S tier. I know, because she's still a step of great. She's still a step above, step above him, so I can understand it. Maybe move Luka down because Luka's really only good in breaks in areas against physical characters. Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I, I think maybe we can keep Sampo here. Maybe move Luka down into the B tier. I think uh, we move Gwynaithan up to the A tier, actually. Uh, I know she's in the specialist category. I just think as an overall unit, she's better than these characters down here. Well, you're trolling with Walt. Move Walt up to the A tier as well. I don't like Gwynaithan being down here. Like I said, she's a generalist character. She can be used on dot teams. She can be used on a doctor ratio team. She just has a lot of different uses. While she not, might not be the best, uh, I think A is a reasonable option because if we look in the other categories here, we have Asta, Hanya, and Pela over here. God, save us all. She's a viable option to pick, but there are definitely better options than her, right? So if you have those better options, you're obviously going to pick her, but she is still a solid option. So for that reason, I think she goes up to the A tier. I think we move Mr. Luca down to the B tier just because... I mean, real, is there really, like, any enemies weak to physical this MOC? I don't, I don't think so. And then, finally, we're going to move on to the C tier, uh, which is Mr. Misa and Fire MC. Fire MC, I can kind of agree with being down here. Misa, I do not agree with being down here. 
Uh, do I think Misa is the best character ever? No, I think Misa's B tier. Misa has some really good break damage. It has like the synergy mark. I don't know who the fuck he's synergizing with. I'm gonna keep it a buck 1000 with you. I don't know what synergist role he's going with here, but I think he's better than that. I built him up. I think he's pretty good. Defense shred basically freezing the enemy whenever you want to with adult he has a 100 energy cost so the same energy cost that serval has i think he's just super good so yeah uh, i think uh, i think mr uh mr misa here deserves to be up higher on the tier list here anyways guys here's our new updated tier list like i said moving uh mr luca down moving one if it up and i think we moved misa up as well so yeah this is oh yeah mr you, you moving mr yang up too gosh he's pretty good isn't he let's hop into the last category now which is the damage dealer category so first right here we have jing liu i agree with that i think jing liu is correct even but i okay for this moc though for this particular MOC, I think the Dragon Dandy is better. Me personally, there's a lot more weakness to Imaginary in this MOC than there is Ice. Plus, the MOC buff caters to using a bunch of skill points, and you don't really use those with Jingle U. So I think for this patch in particular, I would probably put Dragon Dandy above Jingle U in this patch. Move Jingle U down for this current MOC. Uh, Doctor Ratio, I think Doctor Ratio stays S tier. QQ, I think stays S tier. Uh, wait. Is there much quantum? Yeah, QQ says S tier because of skill points usage. And also, Zila says S tier because of skill point usage. Uh, I honestly don't think Zila is that good, guys. I'd probably move Zila down to A tier. Actually, yeah. I, yeah, I, I would move Zila down to A tier. I think E6 QQ is better than, e, uh, than Zila, right? So, yeah, I think we're moving Zila down to the A tier because no shot she's better than Argenti, Blade, Clara, and our general Jing Yuan. Uh, she's on the same level as them. Fight me in the comment section below. I think they should be down there. Blade. Blade doesn't use skill points. I understand why he's here. Argenti uses a lot of skill points, but there's not much physical weakness, so I would still keep him here. Clara in the same boat. I'm keeping him down here. Jing Yuan. I mean, I guess Jing Yuan could kind of take use of the buff because he uses skill point every turn. I don't know. I don't, don't want to get into that. I think Jing Yuan stays A tier. If we move down to the B tier, I actually think Serval is better than this MOC. I would, mm, but not as good as those. Yeah, I would keep Serval A tier. I would keep her to A tier. I would probably keep Himiko A tier. So yeah, guys, I don't think Yang Ching deserves D tier. I'm going to keep it a buck 1000 with you. This boy is better than D tier. He's better than Arlong, guys. Come on. Y'all got to hate Boner for the young ching over at pride win or something and there's no shot he's worse than don hung or hook you're out of your mind put him up here in the b tier i i don't think he's that bad do i think he's the best absolutely not do i think he's worse than them no shot so finally our queen acheron where do i think acheron's gonna be at i think i genuinely think with how they make her character look no leakers here, no dreamers here. I think she is going to be the new S plus character. I think she's going to be the new S plus DPS. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I think that she is going to power creep Jing Liu. I don't know. I, I'm i just thinking on a limb here, guys. I think she's going to be S plus tier. If there's anything you disagree with, because there probably is, leave it in the comment section down below and fight me in the comment section because I like having uh, agreements, arguments with you guys down there. That's my number one pastime is uh, seeing copium comments down there. So we'll probably fish a few out. I'm going to be fishing anyways. Uh, this is the complete tier list. Fuck you, Branya. You can suck my uh, small microscopic cock.